Welcome to 360 Training. In this video, we will guide you through the features and benefits made available with full manager access. Manage user. Add user, batch import. Manage organization group. Manage user groups. Manage security roles. Assign security roles. Manage enrollments. Plan and enroll. Reports. And alerts. Login. Please visit www.360training.com and click on Login. Enter your username or email address and password, then click Login. View your dashboard, desktop view. Once you have logged in with your credentials, you will see your dashboard. In your user dashboard, you have the following options to choose from. Add users. By clicking on this button, our system will allow you to add users in your LMS learning management system. Enroll users. By clicking on this button, our LMS learning management system will allow you to assign licensed training courses to users. Free courses. By clicking on the free courses tab, you will have access to all free of charge courses offered by 360training.com. Shop. By clicking Shop, our system will provide you access to purchase all available training courses offered on www.360training.com. For example, select our healthcare vertical to review our course offering. Manage users. You can navigate to this page by clicking Enroll users or add users on desktop or assign seats on mobile or after logging into the training platform. Select username to view the profile details of the learner. How to add users. Click on add user. A new screen will appear to add new user information. Fill out the required registration fields to create a new user in your organization. Please fill all mandatory fields. Please note, if any of the mandatory field is left empty, our system will prompt the field that requires attention. You can proceed once the information is provided. Login information and account settings. Once you have entered the email address, our system will automatically populate the email address in the, the username field. Username can be changed at the time of user creation. However, once the username is created, that username can no longer be changed or used by another user. Password. Password should be at least eight characters in length and must include three of the following, uppercase, lowercase, numerals and symbols. Next are some important settings that require selection once the information of the user is entered. Account locked. This option provides access to lock the account if the user left the organization or you don't want the student to have access to the account before a particular date. No is selected default. If you wish to lock the user's account, please select yes. Account expiration. This option provides access to set the expiration date so that user account cannot be accessed after the designated date. Account Disable. This option will disable user account, after which our user will not be accessed until the account is activated again. Visible on Report. Default option is Yes, which allows the user to show in the report. If it is selected No, please note the user will not appear in your report. Change Password on Next Login. Default option is selected no, which suggests that the password created for the user will remain the same and will not request the user to update upon login. If you select we yes, this allows the user to change the password upon first login. Select user group. Choose at least one organization group and any optional user groups for the new user. Click next and add new user. Confirmation screen will be displayed. Please confirm that all fields are accurate and correct. Click Previous to make changes or click Save once satisfied. Click Finish. Please note, a system-generated email will be delivered to the email address of the user with the login link and user credentials. Search User. Click the Search button to search by username, first name, last name, or email address. To select additional search options or fields, click Add for fields such as user expiration date, last login date, last course access date, last course completion date, last enrollment date, 
and user status. Click the first name of a user to view user details. This opens the user profile page. Please note, you as LMS manager can edit all user details, including password, except for username. You also have the option to lock, expire, or disable a user account by clicking the yes or no option. No is selected by default. Click the Login as Learner button to access course completion records. In this view, you will see the user's list of enrolled courses. To access the certificate of completion for a course, click Print Certificate. To leave the Login as Learner view, click the Switch Back button at the bottom right-hand corner of the page. This will take you back to your manager's access page. User Batch Import Use the Batch Import tool to create or update user accounts in bulk. Click the Sample File link at the bottom of the page to open the CSV template in a spreadsheet. Then fill in the users you wish to import. Duplicates will be detected in the event if the user already exists or has the same username provided at the time of import. Please note, all mandatory fields required for our Batch Import tool to work are in the Sample view of our Batch Important File view. Sample view. Once your import is successful, by going to Manage Users, you'll be able to check imported learners within your LMS environment. Manage Organization Groups Click Manage Organization Groups on the top left-hand side of the screen. This is an extremely helpful and powerful feature, which is very popular amongst our LMS managers. By utilizing this tab, you can structure your organization, for example, HR, Operations, Sales, Finance, Safety, Compliance. You can view the organization groups by clicking on the group names. To view or edit the members in a group, click Change Members. You will be able to add members and delete members from the group. Add Organization Group. Click in Add Organization Group tab. Enter a name for the new organization group, then choose the new group's parent organization group and click Next. Please confirm the addition of a new organization group and click Finish. To make changes, click the Previous button. Once the organization group is created, a new screen will display, which will allow you to add more organization group, or just click on Organization Group to view the new one created. Manage User Group Click Manage User Group on the top left-hand side of the screen. By creating user groups, you can organize your users into groups to simplify the administration of training assignment. Once user groups are created, the feature allows you to assign training to individuals that are within the respective user group. The options within this function are to add user group or delete user group. Manage security roles. Manage the system security roles for the users in your organization. A security role configures the features that a user has permission to use. Please note you can assign a security role to an individual or several individuals with either full access or limited based on your assignment. You can add a new role or delete a role by clicking Search. This will allow you to view the security roles. Manage the permission settings of a security role. Your organization may have one default learner security role that all newly registered users will have as their learner role by default. Clicking on Change Members will allow you to view the users in the assigned role or remove the learner in the same step. Clicking on the security role will allow you to view the enabled permissions. These permissions apply to Users and Groups, Plan and Enroll, Reports and Tools tabs. Assign Security Roles this is the Assigned Security Roles Assistant. You will be guided through the steps necessary to assign security roles to your users successfully. To get started, click Begin Assign Security Roles link at the bottom of the screen. Click Next to proceed. If you want to change something on a previous screen, click Previous. You may cancel the assistant at any time by clicking Cancel. Search for a user you want to assign as a learner or manager. Select the user by clicking the box next to their name, then click Next. Choose at least one organization group and any optional user groups for the new user. Note, if you choose Yes, it will give that user access to manage all organization groups and users. If you choose No, 
You must select one organization group, which will limit access of the user to the assigned organization group. Click Finish, and a confirmation window will appear. Manage Enrollments. Search for learners in your organization to view and manage the courses they are enrolled in. To manage their enrolled courses, click the number of enrolled courses next to their name. If you leave all fields blank and click Search, you can view all the users listed under your customer account. Click View Enrollments. Note, if the blank search option does not work, please enter the following user information, first name, last name, or email address. Now you can view the courses, progress, status, and enrollment end or start date. You then have the options to extend a course within the time frame allowed in the entitlement, expire a course. This feature is helpful for individuals who failed all allocated attempts allowed for a user to pass the course. After expiring a course for a student, you can then reassign the training. Drop a course. If the wrong course was assigned or the employee is no longer with the company, and the course hasn't been completed. Unlock a course. If a student is locked out of a training course due to security validation, the user will likely require assistance from our customer service team. Plan and enroll. Select enroll users by course, then select users. You can search for the user you want to enroll by first name, last name, or email address. Search tips. Please ensure there are no spaces after or before any text you type in search fields. You can also leave all the fields blank to search to see all the users in your account. Select the user you want to enroll by clicking the box next to their name, then click Next. Most common way of searching the course or courses available to you is by searching by the course name, enter the course name and clicking search. Select the desired course from the results. Next, enter a start and end date for the course. The end date cannot be more than 365 days past the initial date of enrollment. The last stage of course assignment requires you to choose yes to the radio button next to send enrollment confirmation to learner. By choosing this radio button, our system will automatically notify learner of the course or courses assigned. Once checked, please click Finish to complete the enrollment completely. Once you've successfully clicked Finish, you will see a confirmation screen which displays the number of learners and the courses assigned to the respective individual. Manage Training Plan This is a very helpful feature to assign multiple training courses to students. Managers can create training plans for their students. An example employee at a restaurant is required to complete alcohol training and food handler training. By creating a training plan, you will have the ability to assign both courses together to an employee. Create a training plan. Click on Add Training Plan. The next screen will require you to name your training plan and a short description, if any. Once done, please click the Next button to proceed. Click on the Search button to search the training courses you intend to add to the training plan. You can search courses by course name, contract name, business key, and max expiration date. Or you can do a blank search, which will populate all available courses in your contract. Select the desired courses you wish to add to the training plan and click Next. Once you click Next, the page after will show you a detailed summary of the training plan you created. If everything looks accurate, click Finish to complete creation of your new training plan. Once you have successfully created your training plan, please click on Manage Training Plans, which will show the new training plan created and or any if already exists. Select Enroll Users by Training Plan, then select the desired training plan. Once you select the training plan, you have three options. You can assign a training plan to a user, organization group, or user group. Selecting organization group. Select learner you want to assign the training plan and then next. After clicking next, assign the start date and end date. The following two steps are default actions. We recommend continuing with the system options as they are selected.
email will be received as a confirmation of LMS enrollment results. Reports. Tracking progress via on-demand reports. Once logged in, select reports in the top right corner of the screen. From here, you can filter between different types of reports. The learner performance by course, comprehensive, report is the most useful report for most managers. This report can be found by filtering by performance in the category drop-down box and then pressing filter results. To run the report, click on the report name. Select the date range you want the report to cover and click see results. Note, please ensure the date range is selected accurately. Running a report from January 1, 2022 to June 30, 2022 will not include any users who were enrolled in 2021 or prior. Once the report is completed, you will see the results on the web page. You can always download a report from our system in Excel. Tools, manage alerts. Our LMS alert feature is designed for our commercial customers to choose from a series of events related to training compliance. Once an alert is activated based on the event of your choice, our system will automatically notify learners of event. Select tools in the top right corner of the screen. Manage alert. On the top left side of the screen, the manage alert option allows managers to notify learners regarding important events. For example, your training course is due to expire on June 6. Please log into your student account to complete training assigned at your earliest. Add alert. Click on the add alert button. Alerts are used to notify user about different events. Following are the different events. Learner completes a course. Learner enrolls in a course. Course expiration date. Course last access date. Calendar date. Learner start a course. Next step is alert name. Next step is choose an event. Next step is to send notification with the number of days selection. There are two options to select. After the event, if this option is selected, a notification will be sent out to the user after the course expiration date. Before the event, if this option is selected, a notification will be sent out to the user prior to the course expiration date. Click next to complete this step. Next step, add message. While adding a message in the alert, there are some options which need to be selected. Send learners an email. Notify learners in LMS. Copy me on all email notification. Subject. Message. Short codes. Use short codes to insert data in the notification subject and or message body. The recipient data will be populated in these short codes when the notification is sent. First name, last name, Username, user email, LMS link, registration date, completion date. Click the finish button. Once the alert is set up, it can be viewed in the manage alert tab. Now click on the alert that is created and go to the course section. Select the add course button. Now select the course on which this alert needs to be activated and click finish. Alert is now activated and will be triggered accordingly. Thank you for choosing 360 Training, and we hope you found this video helpful.